Hey California Real Estate, welcome back to NHD Academy. I'm Patrick McClellan and this is a video series for California real estate agents and consumers. Let's continue our discussion about California's six important natural hazards that must be disclosed to a buyer if they affect the sale property. And that's two flood, two fire, and two seismic or earthquake related hazards. In this episode, we're going to explain one of those seismic hazards, the Alquist Priolo Earthquake Fault Zone. Remember from grade school, the Earth has a shell within a shell kind of a construction with the thin outer shell being the rocky crust. And the landscape that we see around us is the top surface of that crust. Below the land surface, the crust is broken by lots of fractures, big and small, that have moved in the past. And those fractures are called geologic faults. Now, when a fault suddenly ruptures or slips one side past the other, it causes vibrations through the ground that we know as an earthquake. And the larger the rupture, the bigger the earthquake. In a big earthquake, the rupture typically starts miles down and spreads upward along the fault toward the surface. And where the rupture meets the ground surface, the fault tears across the landscape. In California, a recent example of surface fault rupture was in 2014 when the West Napa Fault ruptured in a magnitude 6 earthquake. That fault ruptured across the Napa Valley landscape over a distance of about eight miles through vineyards and fences, streets and sidewalks, playgrounds and pipelines, and even through homes in several neighborhoods in the city of Napa. In that disaster, structures were displaced by up to two feet where they crossed the fault trace. And two years later, in 2016, even more dramatic fault rupture occurred in New Zealand's magnitude 7. 7.8 Kaikoura earthquake where the faults displaced the ground by up to 30 feet. So buildings are no match for the force of shifting ground along a fault rupture. The only safe solution is to avoid active faults entirely and that's the purpose of California's Alquist Priolo Earthquake Fault Zone Act to identify and avoid active faults when building habitable structures. Under the state's NHD law, the real estate agent or the seller, if acting without an agent, must disclose to a prospective buyer if any portion of the property is within a mapped Alquist Priolo fault zone. On the map, the Alquist Priolo fault zone is typically about a quarter mile wide centered on the active trace of the fault. So what does active mean? Under the state's zoning law, an active fault is one that has ruptured within the last 11,000 years. Long story. And if the property is within an Alquist Priolo zone, does it mean that a fault runs through the property? Not necessarily. It simply puts the buyer on notice that future development or substantial building renovation on the property may require a geologic investigation to identify and avoid active fault traces. Do these regulatory fault zones protect structures built before the zone maps were issued? No, the law is not retroactive and that's the benefit of the disclosure, to let the buyer know and investigate further if desired. So there you have it, the Alquist Priolo Earthquake Fault Zone. It's one of two statutory earthquake-related hazard zones that must be disclosed to the buyer in a typical California real estate transaction. Development within an earthquake fault zone is regulated through the local building permit process to avoid the danger of surface fault rupture. To learn about the other types of natural hazard disclosures, check out the other episodes in our NHD Academy library. Visit our website, click on the training videos tab in the top menu, and watch all the episodes there. And we'll see you next time.